Hi guys, welcome back to Jock Studio again. Um, as I said last time, we will be doing the other routes Fellow in this Olympians. game. And guess what? You can't Standing skip this opening cutscene. Makes me think about my journey. To I figured that out yesterday. Despite all the challenges um, along the way. Very annoying, but <laughs> we'll be back when um, Everyone, we'll be back soon. Alright guys, welcome back to... Um, God, I'm saying that like we're starting the video again. But no, uh, we're taking the quiz again, and I should have saved the game. God damn it, maybe... Nope, you can't scroll back, because this isn't Renpy, it's Unity. God, Renpy is honestly just the goat. It really is. <laughs> I, you can scroll back through literally anything. You can press space to advance the dialogue. Press H to hide all the UI. Ugh, Renpy is so good. But, um... So we need to either skip the quiz or proceed to the quiz. So if we skip it, we can directly choose the next uh, love interest we'll go ahead and be with. But we can go ahead and do the quiz anyway, since last time when I tried it, it had different okay. questions. Um, yeah, like this, I don't think we saw these questions last time. I'm gonna say the beach, that's, that's decent. Hmm. I'm taking a shower, what do you reach for to clean yourself? Now this one's the same one. Apparently a tabo is some sort of Filipino cup you use to wash yourself with out of a bucket. That's what somebody said. Anyway, I guess I should just choose something different, so... Let's say a tabo. I guess we'll get the Filipino character. <laughs> if I say that, is, is that right? So now all these now these questions are starting to be the same though. Um, I forget. I think I picked night last time, so morning. What role do you play in a friendship? That's a new one. I find solutions to help fix things, keep things real, tell them how they are, make friends laugh. They always come to me for advice. What friendship? May be true. You win the lottery, share it with the closest people, charity. Please, I was a charity case until I won the lottery. Why would I share it? Enjoy <laughs> if I shared it, I'd be a charity case again, you know? Enjoy the luxurious lifestyle, investments. No amount of money can uh, uh, bring happiness. Retire and live comfortably, for real. What does a relationship mean to you? We already talked about this one. God, last time I got all new questions. Um, it's as simple as loving and caring for each other. Yeah, why not? I can't believe my personality quiz last time matched me with Bryce, though. Like, that was not... I don't feel like it should have matched me with him. Because, like, all the questions I answered, I feel like he would give a different answer. But whatever. College is a chance for a better future, waste of money, kind of, to make lifetime friends. I'll just say for a dream career. It's kind of a waste of money, though. What scent do you find attractive? Gasoline? What the fuck? I don't think that's a... No, no one has ever said this. I feel like... Did we answer this last time? I don't think we did, but... I'll choose gasoline, because I want to see who is the man that smells like what? gasoline. Uh, let's go Big Spoon. Mm -hmm. How often do you shower? We talked about it. Hygiene is key. Jeez. What pace do you prefer activities to be? Normal, powerful, rough, gentle... I don't know, rough? If you were pizza topping, what would you be? Onions, I'll make you cry with every layer I peel. But, mm, if you have onions on a pizza, it's not really like... It's already all layered off, you know? So you won't be able to do any more peeling, right? <laughs> I'm thinking too hard about these analogies. I'm packed with meat and heat. Salami, sure. What? 
If every one's hair on their heads turns into pasta, which works best? Farl fall, it's shaped like a ribbon. Ravioli, I can put stuff inside it. If you silly for those luscious curls. Spaghetti, you can style it. Lasagna, I can stack it. Uh, I guess spaghetti, I don't know. How do you think the world will end? Hmm. Hmm, where is... Due to the communist uprising? I don't see it here, you know. The capitalists will get back at us, kill everybody. It's gonna be a bad time. I guess a nuclear explosion. Okay. If you're being reincarnated, what would you be? Did we do this one? I think we did, but I'll choose Overlord. Alright, let's... I'll, I'll bring you back once we get some new dialogue. Alright guys, welcome back. Uh, this time we're getting Julio Mendez. Maybe we can get him to repeat it again? Um, well, I guess it wasn't really an acted voice line, it was just a little voice snippet. But he said his name. His name is Julio Mendez. He's from the soccer team and he's a bundle of sunshine. He should be at the soccer field at his after-class practice now. Tell him I sent you to pick him up. Anyway? I've got a bit more tidying up to do around here. So you two get back. So by the time you two get back, right. things should be ready for us. All right, I'll be back in a bit. Au revoir. So last time I said I'd do all of them in this video, all the other uh, scenes, but if there's five other scenes and then we have to go meet them first, I don't think that's feasible. It might only be like two or three in this video and then another video with another two or three. Because then this would be like two hours then if I did all of them. Anyway, as I made my way to the soccer field, I was struck with how surreal it was. Eh, we kind of heard this part. Can we skip it? We can't. But we've heard it. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and skip a little. Oh. The whole time I've been at Olympus U, I've never visited the soccer field. My high school had one I would pass by regularly, but it wasn't anywhere near as big as this one, and it's still only the practice field. Man, this campus is really extra when it comes to sports. Okay. Before I get distracted, I need to look for Julio Mendez. I totally forgot to ask Jax what he looks like. Is that a Filipino name? I have no idea. It sounds vaguely Filipino. Maybe. The only thing he said was that guy is a real character, but what could any... But that could be any of these guys. Hmm. It's not really worth backtracking to the club, blah blah blah. Oh. Looks like they're in the middle of a practice game. Maybe watching a little wouldn't hurt. Never been this close to a soccer game after all. I can see the players sprinting from across the field from here. How do they manage to move so fast and still focus on the ball? Speaking of... Speaking of fast, looks like one of them's still pulling ahead of the others. Alright, we almost have like a upskirt, up short shot? Nearly. Whoa, even though this guy is small, he's bursting with energy. Did someone say small? Did someone say twink? <laughs> and it's clear he knows his way around the ball. Or should I say balls? I wonder if players like him have the same stamina in bed. If you can run that much, you must be able to go for multiple rounds in a row. Not necessarily true. I mean, physical stamina and sexual stamina are different, but... Oh crap, did he sense me staring? He has pervert radar. You're almost there! Go for the goal, Leo! No, Kiva! <laughs> no, Kiva, you don't get to jump scare me! <laughs> Wait, okay, so he's not Julio. Kiva, that is. Because this is just a random player. That was Kiva's voice, wasn't it? I mean, I should. I mean, it, it was. I would know his sexy voice anywhere. Got it! Taking the cue from his teammates, the blonde guy went for a powerful kick, sending the ball straight for the goal. It seemed like everything slowed down for just a moment, and his shirt fluttered in the breeze. 
It gave me a peek at his lean stomach, and my eyes traveled down to his lean, muscled thighs. I raised my head to quickly see a moving object zooming straight in my direction, cutting my thoughts short with a... Nice suit. Oh shit! Is he dead? You got him good, Leo! That was a clean headshot! I didn't mean to! Oh, we're lucky the coach isn't here. Quick, hide the body! This isn't a joke, you guys! He's totally out cold! Sh should we call an ambulance? How are you gonna pay Kiba money and not... and just make him a side character, you know? Unless I'm actually crazy, but that definitely sounds like Kiba. Wait, wait! I hear him groaning! Man, I still can't get over that kick, Leo! It would have been an easy goal if this guy wasn't calling your shots. Sorry, I got carried away. Can't help but get excited whenever I see Leo's plays. Right? His instincts are top notch. We definitely have a chance at the championship with Leo around. Is he voice acting all three of these background characters? <laughs> For real, because that's what it definitely sounds like. <laughs> Come on, you guys, we need to bring this guy back to life. Should I give him CPR? Am I dreaming? There's a strange bright light shining down on me. I get they don't they don't make Kiba, you know, one of the main characters. They just make him all the background characters. <laughs> that's that's the decision here. Wait, don't tell me I'm actually dead. This must have been the lamest life filled with nothing but porn and anime. And now I'm dying in the most undignified of ways. How is this undignified? It's Kind of a lame way to die, but undignified? I don't know. But if so, heaven's not so bad. The mists were true. I'm already greeted by a beautiful blonde angel. Hey, snap out of it, dude! Oh, thank goodness you're awake! Uh, uh... I'm so, so sorry. I didn't think the ball would ricochet like that. Ricochet? Bitch, it looked like you just kicked it into my face. I'm alive? Uh. Ricocheted off your foot into my cranium. <laughs> yes. Welcome back, dude. Looks like everything's good here. Let's get back to practice. I'll catch up, you guys. I need to make sure this guy's okay. All right, Leo. You can sit out the rest of this one. I don't know. The, the, <laughs> the player one and player two merges together a little bit too much. <laughs> it's like the, with the player one, Kiva's going for like a nerdy voice or something. Um, or, yeah, but then it, with with his player two, it's sort of more his just normal Katero voice, and they're, they're merging together. <laughs> it's hard to tell them apart. Thanks, guys. I'll make up for it next time. Wow, this guy's even cuter up close, staring down at me with those big, fiery eyes and his blonde, poofy hair that glows like the sun. Not to mention those cheeks. They're so cute and round when he smiles. I just want to pinch them. Hey, sorry about that again. You're not hurt, are you? Uh, I, I think I'm fine. More than fine, actually. Can I just stay on the ground and bask in his radiance? Let me help you up. Uh, it's alright. I got it. Sigh. All good things must come to an end. I'm super sorry. Um, well, annoying voice, here we go. I know this is probably like the third time, but I'm super sorry about that. I'm usually not that bad, I swear. It's okay. It's alright, it was just an accident, and it's kind of on me for standing so close to the field like that. I'm Leo. I am Leo, by the way. I don't think I've seen you here before. Well... Well, I... Wait? Don't tell me. Are you here for tryouts? We need some new players. Uh, actually? No, I'm here looking for someone. Do you happen to know a Julio Mendez? Ugh. Don't say that. Don't say that name out loud. Only my mom calls me that. Oh! Oh, so you're Julio. I mean, Leo. Yep, that's me, Leo Mendez, and you are? I'm Ace Anderson. 
And I think I'm here to pick you up. Pick me up? Weren't you the one on the ground a minute ago? <laughs> I mean... No, I mean, I'm from the film club, and I was told to come get you for our first meeting. Oh, shit! Film club? Oh, shit, I forgot about that! Aw, thanks! I would have totally missed it if it weren't for you. Thanks for reminding me, Ace. It's okay. I'm only following orders. I just joined the club, actually. God, can I change? Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> it's so slow to come out, I think I'm like double tapping it sometimes and then I accidentally reclose it. Anyway, uh, text speed. Let's just like get that really fast. <laughs> oh, me too! I actually just found out about the film club a week ago. That film major guy invited me to join and he really sold me on the whole idea. I mean, how could I say no? It's something new, plus it sounds like it's gonna be lots of fun. I guess. I guess that's why I joined too. Wait. So does that mean you're a part of the two clubs? <laughs> you can do two things at once in college? <laughs> How do you manage? <laughs> like what? Actually. Three, actually. Some of my buddies joined a role-playing game club, and I didn't want to miss out. No way. On top of your classes? Isn't that a bit much? Nah. Two of them aren't sports, so they're easier to handle. Besides, the film club seemed like it's a one-of-a-kind chance that I couldn't pass up. Wow. I'm really impressed. You're in so many groups. It took me a long time to even join a single club. Thanks. I just want to make the most of my college life, you know? I'm still a freshman, but as they say, there's no time like the present. Uh, I'm a freshman too, but it already sounds like you've done so much more. Well... Well, you're starting now, if that's what counts. But we got carried away chatting. Let me just go get changed and we can head to the club, alright? Right. Right, I'll wait for you here. Thanks. I'll be back in a jiffy. Leo isn't exactly what I was expecting from a film club member, but in a good way. He's super energetic and friendly. Not only that, but he's involved in so many things already. He's like the exact opposite of me. Maybe it'll be good to hang out with someone like him. I might learn a few of his habits. But if we're talking about the real win here, not only is Leo easy to talk to, but he's also really cute and handsome. Being into guys and all, sometimes I get flustered and it's so hard to have these kinds of interactions, but with him it just came so naturally. What a first impression. I just hope the next time I get hit in the face by him, it's with a different ball. Hey! What kind of outfit is that? Uh... What the... I mean, alright, I don't know what's going on with the belt or the jacket, but it's a, it's a lot to take in. I didn't even read his line, did I? Hey, sorry about that, I'm ready to go now. Holy crap, he got even cuter! And are those tan lines on his shoulders? What I wouldn't give to have been in that locker room. I don't really see the tan lines. Am I crazy? It just looks like shadows from the clothes, but maybe they're tan lines? I don't know. His shorts are so loose too. Maybe I should pass out again and accidentally grab them all the way down. Dude. God, he's like an anime protagonist. And, and, and that's not a compliment. <laughs> Dude, you alright? Are you still feeling lightheaded from earlier? Y yeah. Uh, yes, I mean, no, I I'm alright. Let's go. Ready to go? Sh sure. Let's head out. Wow. This place is a lot cleaner than it was last time I was here. I thought I'd just be fucking in, th in the fucking dust and dirt. Yeah. Yeah, Jack said he was gonna tidy up while I was grabbing you. Jackie! Welcome back. Well, if it isn't my lovely little ray of sunshine. Welcome back, Leo. And it's Jax, though I guess I don't mind a pet name. How was practice? Looks dope! It was great as usual. 
You really amped the place up, huh? It looks great. Thanks. We've got a desk and a couch here in the lobby now, and the activity room's all set up too. Anyway. Blah blah blah. You're both here. I can welcome you. Give Ace a blah blah blah. Off. Broadly call him a blah Wait. blah blah. Yes. And I will skip Kitchen. and skip. Can you believe that somebody wow. in the comment section actually went ahead and defended the Supreme Court's decision to axe affirmative action undemocratically, we may add. Can you believe that someone went in my comment section to do that? <laughs> they were like, actually, Kuro, um, it's really unfair <laughs> uh, that f affirmative action even existed. Like, uh, if, if this is you, if, if th that was you who left the comment, shame on you. <laughs> shame on you. Get educated. That's all I got to say. I don't have the time to explain why affirmative action is necessary but um <laughs> well we can watch what we make but the real fun part is the acting uh, but... but i'm not really much of an actor never took theater classes no. yeah yeah it's right. i mean for example it says it's new but you know it's not That's new ace. can't skip it there's a bunch of other fun stuff you can do ace you can help come up with themes and ideas for the films we make I'm sure blah blah I blah guess. i'll do my best don't worry. Don't worry about that today, though. Today's my solo session, so you can just watch and have fun like you thought. Take it easy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's not that serious, Ace. I get where you're coming from, though. I've never done anything like this before, either. So it's a first time for me, too. Oh my god, can we bond over the fact that we're virgins? I'm we're virgin right. losers together? The only difference is I got briefed last week, so I'm already prepped for this. How about... Let's go! Come on, Ace, let's go. Get ready! Alright, I just need to get the camera set up. Leo, you can start getting ready. Yep. Gotcha. Huh. What should I do? You can chill out in that seat over there in the corner, uh, Ace. Okay! Alright, so our relationship's already better. I'm intentionally waiting hey, for him Ace. now. Thanks for waiting. Instead of eavesdropping. <laughs> sure thing. Want to walk back to the dorms together? Definitely. So, that was pretty fun back there. It went so much better than I thought. Did you enjoy it too? Of course I did. Whew. Much more than you know. Oh, come on. Don't be uh, don't be letting all that horny show on your face. If I'm being honest, I, uh, already look at porn way more than I should. And maybe this isn't good for you if you have an addiction. <laughs> this might be bad for you in your life. Hey, I watch porn all the time, too. That's why we're both in the club after all, right? Uh, I guess, but this was a totally different experience. I, I mean, something about seeing it in real life really got me going. Maybe therapy would have been a good club to join. I know, right? I never knew how exciting it would be to be in one. Glad I gave this a try. Me too. I know I've said it a bunch, but I still can't believe all this is really happening for me. And this was only the beginning. There's gonna be way more stuff for us to do in the club just like this. As long as you're planning on sticking around, that is. No way I would leave. Especially not now. But I do feel guilty for not doing much. I basically just watched. But you were guiding me, Ace. That really made a difference. And if I can be honest, too, I was a little nervous the whole time and kind of winging it. But all the stuff you said to me helped me to just enjoy it. And turned me on even more, too. Really? Yeah, really. It kind of felt like you were doing it with me. And that made me super curious about what it'll be like to eventually do it with another guy, too. Uh, well, maybe I could um, help out next time? Really? I'd love that. Uh-oh, he's horny, too. But only if you're ready, of course. There's no pressure. 
<sighs> I appreciate you looking out for me, Leo. It's kind of unexpected how open you are about all this. I never imagined talking about this kind of stuff with anyone, especially not with someone else that's into it. Oh, same here. I haven't told any of my other friends about this. Shit, that actually reminds me. I have a karaoke night with them soon. They must be waiting for me by now. Huh? But you've already done so much today. You attended class, soccer practice, and literally carried the entire scene in the film club. Why is he getting- Ace is getting so, like, preoccupied with how Leo is spending his time. <laughs> it's like, it's not your business. How are you not tired? Well, I am, don't get me wrong. But I have no choice. I committed to all this already. <laughs> how do you get enough rest? I can't even imagine having that much work in just a day. I've only had, what? One class in the club activity today? And even though all I did is watch, I'm sure I'll pass out as soon as I hit the bed. Not really. I'm gonna jerk off at least twice as soon as I get to my room. Good lord. You you, you do need therapy, you see? He has a, a, a porn addiction. Once he starts having sex and isn't a loser anymore, uh, probably a sex addiction. It's fine. I can handle it. And I like it when people count on me. You really are a big ball of energy, aren't you? Like the sun. <laughs> That's the first time I've been compared to something so huge. Give me a few more years and then maybe I'll hit another growth spurt. He's 18. I don't think he's hitting any more growth spurts. Not really. I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> he's manlit for life. I was talking about your personality. He better enjoy it while he's a cute twink, because it's... It's not going to be great in the future, you know? <laughs> when he's just a short man. I guess that works too, since the sun is the symbol of the soccer club. Don't forget the sun always sets too. There's always time to take a break and leave things for another day. <laughs> Thanks. I'll remember that. Anyway, I think this is my stop. I guess I'll see you tomorrow, Ace. Yeah. Take care, Leo. See you at Jock Studio. Alright, that is the end of Leo's little preview. I'll bring you back for maybe another quiz, see if there's any new questions, and luck of the draw for who we get. Alright, this time I remembered to save before this uh, little mini game. I had to watch the, that cutscene again because it okay. can't be skipped. And I had the best way to cook a potato. Um, I'm gonna say I'm not exactly sure what croquettes are. I'm uncultured apparently. Probably just baked, or maybe roasted. Pro I'll say baked. Hmm. What would you bring to a deserted island? Um, a machete? I mean, would the phone work there? Um, and it would run out of batteries? A machete, I guess. What's your ideal vacation? Well, we talked about this one. I'll choose a different one. Staycation? Colleges? Yeah, let's just pick other answers. You know, it's just about getting a random guy, you know? It's more exciting that way, to make lifetime friends. Purpose is found... ...within yourself. And motivating each other. It's as simple as caring. Forget what I picked now. Being true to ourselves without judgment. It's most likely to make you feel hurt. We haven't had this one, I don't think. Being humiliated? Having my work criticized when someone I care about is hurt? Feeling left out? Being secretly unwanted? Getting rejected? I don't know, a lot of these... ...are hurtful. <laughs> I guess the most hurtful is... Uh... Feeling left out or me being unwanted? I feel like those kind of go hand in hand, though. I'll say secretly unwanted. What facial feature endears you the most? Eyes, jaw, cheeks, ears, lips, hair. Mm. 
Maybe hair. I mean, we don't want any baldies. What? What is something that both hurts and feels good? Yeah, let's say getting a D. Or did I say that last time? Oh, I said spanking. Okay, I'll say getting a D. Mm. Size doesn't matter. Try something on for size. Size is everything. Size queen comes down to shapes and sizes. Pick on someone your own size. Um, I'll say it's everything. Jeez. Masturbation is perfectly normal. The best way to say goodbye is may the force be with you, brofist. Shashe away. What? If your age or your ass was a tree, what tree would it be? Willow? Wait, I don't even get that willow. My ass would not ever be a tree. What the? I'll say Willow. Not that I get it. In the hit BL game Camp Buddy, which was your first round? I think we got this question, did we? I can't remember. I'll just say Taiga. Okay. What's your spirit animal? Socially awkward penguin, crispy cum sock, kink panther, hungover orangutan, a rock with googly eyes, golden retriever with an energy drink. I'll say crispy cum sock. Delicious. Alright, let's skip ahead. Alright, we've won the lottery, and his name is Avon Geyserford. <laughs> I think that's Zales OC. His name is Avon Geyserford, and he's from the swim team. He should be at the campus pool since he has his after-class practice now. Tell him I sent you to pick All him right. up. That's and, uh, he's also the student council president. What? Yep. Have you met him? Well... No, but I've heard rumors about him. <laughs> then you should know what kind of person he is. Don't worry, though. Once you tell him why you're there, it should be fine. Blah, blah, blah. I won't let you Au revoir. Yeah, yeah, you made your way to the pool. Oh, I can't believe the student council president is part of the club, though. Maybe it's a bigger deal than I realize. How is the student council president going to be a part of this? That's... Mm, is he going to be ousted as president when all of this comes to light? Is he going to have to resign in shame? For once, I'm making a change and it won't be bad. Oh. I've never visited the campus pool. There was a local pool back home, but it was much more casual and not an actual lap pool. Like this, it's kind of impressive. I wonder... Where is everybody, though? I thought Jack said the swim team had its practice right now. Did I take too long getting over here? Maybe they're already done. Aww. What a bummer. I was really looking forward to seeing those cute hat naked guys in their tight swimmer bodies. What should I do now? I guess. I guess since I'm looking for the student council president, I should head over to their office? Wait. Wait a second, what's that? Wow, look at those globes. Someone's diving in. As I caught a glimpse of the swimmer, time seemed to slow down as I admired his form. I'm seeing here, uh, first with Leo's scene, and now with Avon here. I might have to re- <laughs> I might have to revisit the Camp Buddy, uh, Stinky- The Stinky Camp Buddy tier list? Foot tier list? What did I call that video again? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm seeing a lot of feet here that might be stinky, you know? Might have to, you know, be like a Camp Buddy X Jock Studio stinky foot tier list. That's a mouthful. <laughs> Just like I'd hoped, he was almost naked, and I could instantly see how well-toned his body was. Not only that, but his perky butt was perfectly visible from this angle. Has he been here the whole time? How did I not notice him? Look at that speed! He's like a fish moving so quickly through the water! He's traversing from one side of the pool to the other in no time, turning around underwater and swimming back, barely surfacing to catch his breath. 
Too bad the view's so obstructed now, though. I can hardly see any of his body with the water rippling so much. Wait a second, he's crossing lanes! Is he swimming towards me? Well, yeah, that's what they do. They swim back and forth. To and fro. What are you doing here? Okay, um, a little curt. I'm just here to ogle the men. Oogle. Uh, please don't have an attitude with me. Uh, I don't like boys with attitudes. Men! Men with attitudes. They're all men. He's 20. Or 19. Or 18. But that's still a man. <laughs> oh my god, this is the view I've been wanting. A full frontal of a nearly naked fit swimmer right in front of my eyes. His tight, lean arms and slim waist are exactly what I'd expect from a swimmer. But I didn't expect he'd be so pale considering his sport. Well, is it an indoor pool? I think I saw there was a skylight. The water dripping all over his skin makes me want to see him covered in something else. And don't even get me started on that bulge. That speedo is doing basically nothing to hide it, so I can already see the firm outline of his... Excuse me, I asked you a question. Yeah, well, he's not gonna pay attention to you talking. He's, uh, busy. I'm sorry, I, I, I was, uh... The pool's off-limits to non-members during practice hours. And you shouldn't be standing so close with those shoes on. The tiles are wet. Did you even read the pool rules before coming in? Uh, oh, uh, no, I, I didn't. Uh, it's my first time here. Can you step out of the way then, please? G uh, sorry, I, I didn't mean to block the ladder. S sure, sorry again. Uh, I'll get out of the... Play! <laughs> Um, okay. Guess I'll just fall over. I'm a bit of a klutz now. <sighs> I'm sorry? Uh, excuse me? What's... Oh, no, this is just because he's... Wait, what? I'm... That's just because he fell down, so he's like... His sprite is just further down because of that, not because Avon is literally towering over him, right? I didn't think there was that big a height difference. <laughs> if so, this is this looks weird. Okay, I don't. Let's just you see. All right? <laughs> Avon just looks like a fucking giant. It's crazy. And Ace is a little dwarf right now. <sighs> Okay, I wasn't even voice acting. <laughs> um, hey, are you alright? Yeah, okay, so they're the same height. <laughs> yeah, man, that's gonna hurt in the morning. Hmm. I tried to warn you about the tiles, and there's a wet floor sign right there. You're lucky you didn't fall in. <laughs> That would have been embarrassing. I definitely don't have a spare change of clothes right now. Anyway... If you're not hurt, I need to resume my laps. Like I said, this area is not open to the public right now, but you can come back after practice hours. Wait! I I'm actually looking for someone. Uh... The rest of the team is in the outdoor pool. Huh? If the rest of the team is outside, why are you in here? Uh-oh, looks like the rest of the team don't like him. Like I said. I need to finish my laps. I have another club to attend, and you're slowing me down. Wait. Um, would it happen to be the porn studio club? Cause, uh, get your ass out of the water and get your ass on my cock. Hold on, does it happen to be the film club? W what? How, how did you know? I'm Ace Anderson. I was actually sent here to fetch you. I'm Ace Anderson, a freshman. Avon Geyserford. Sophomore. Are you also a member? Yeah. Uh, I am. I just joined today, actually. I see. Sorry for my bluntness earlier, then. Ace. It's nice to meet you, Ace. Avon. It's nice to meet you, too, Avon. Yeah, you, you, you should start being friendly with him. Like, if you guys are gonna have to have sex together, you know... I, I don't think you should be on bad terms. It's gonna be awkward in the in the videos, you know. People are gonna be able to feel that when they're watching and jerking off. So, 
They're gonna feel the tension. So, you're the student council president also? Yes. Yes, I am. Whoa! That's crazy. I guess it makes sense you'd be in a lot of activities considering your position. But even still, two clubs on top of your classes and council duties? How do you handle them all? I manage. I like to stay busy. <laughs> I wish I was like that. It took me till today to even join a club. I actually filled out one of your forms to help me decide. Uh, can you... <laughs> so he wrote those. Um, can you please tell me uh, why you were asking about my dick and why some of the answers were about uh, stale cum socks? Um, it would be just... I'm just a little curious about that. Oh, really? I'm the one who made the questions for that. Oh, okay, so you're a total deviant just like me. Awesome. Uh... No kidding. They were, uh, interesting. Uh, yes? Yes, but I gather you didn't like the survey's results. The film club's not on the official list after all. Uh, actually... I never turned the form in. Jax got to me right before I submitted it, and I agreed to join them to join then and there. I understand. So, does Avon have a few screws loose? <laughs> if he wrote that uh, survey? I can understand that. That guy does have quite the sales pitch. And I'm sure he made it sound irresistible to you. Honestly... Honestly, I hesitated about it a lot. I was worried I wouldn't be the right... It wouldn't be the right fit for me. Oh. Of course. Are you sure you wouldn't rather join something else? Well... Oh, well... Uh... Man, it's so hard to hold conversation with this guy. It's not that he's difficult to talk to, it's just... That outfit... Talk about having no shame. How can he stand in front of me like that, showing off his whole body and not expect me to look? Why are your tits out, you slut? You just want a man to go grab them? <laughs> <laughs> Put those away. I know this is the swim team's uniform, but how are they not hard all day long seeing each other like this? <clears throat> oh crap, he definitely caught me staring. <clears throat> Sorry, I tend to space out a lot in oogle men's bulges. I take it back. I take back what I said. Maybe you do belong in that club. In that club. Well, I think we're like a match made in heaven, sister. Because <laughs> you ain't right either. Anyway. Just let me get dressed and we can head over. Right! Uh, of course. Wait here. I'll be back in a minute. Whew. That was kind of scary. So the rumors about the student council president being standoffish and very straightforward were true, huh? At least at the start. Hmm. <sighs> Once I mentioned the film club, he seemed to lighten up a little bit, but he's still super serious. Seeing an uptight and reputable guy like him in such a revealing outfit, somehow the contrast is super hot. <laughs> if a guy that looks like the him wants to scold me, I'm ready to be whipped all day long. <laughs> sorry. Ooh. Ooh, I'm sorry to see this. Ooh, I'm so sorry to see this. Uh, usually, I feel like... Well, should I say usually? We've only had three love interests so far, but... Leo's was kind of a glow-up. I mean, it was weird. His outfit was weird, but... It was kind of a glow-up. And this is... Mm, this is not good. It's a really ugly, tacky-looking suit. The... Aquamarine, is that what this color is? Maybe not, but this blue trimming, aquamarine trimming, I don't like it. It's really ugly, the white suit, mm-mm, mm-mm. Not good. Oh, is he gonna get horny for the, for the ugly suit? Now this is what I was expecting, the formal attire, tie and blazer, look or what I imagined the student council president would wear. Knowing what's underneath, I'd love to peel it all off and... Time to go. It's time to go. Right! There you two are! You arrived earlier than expected, Mr. President. I'm warning you. 
Don't call me that here. And you should know I'm never late, nor do I miss my appointments. Well, if we didn't get you, would you not have been late, asshole? You didn't, ha you didn't have to send someone to come get me. Well, you were content to keep swimming a few more laps. Huh? So I didn't need to fetch him after all? Well... I wanted you to meet each other before we got started. That makes sense. I thought that might be the case. Am I going to be doing the session with him today? Ah, oh, well, if he insists. Yeah, it depends. I haven't had the chance to give Ace the full briefing yet. You know it's already hard enough for the club to operate discreetly. But you make it more difficult for me to allow this place to operate when you just grab anyone to be a member. I mean... It's a club. You should let anyone join, right? That's... that's the point. It's supposed to be inclusive. But also, how do you allow this place to operate? You see... I feel like this is all... he's doing this sort of under the rug. Uh, this is sort of his his secret passion. I'm sure. Don't worry about it. Ace is down for it. He's just as thrilled about it as we are. Jock. I'll take your word for it, Jocks. What? Jax. It's it's Jax, right? Not Jocks. <laughs> Whatever. What? I'm so confused. Start things off. Yeah, yeah. Blah Wait, blah blahs. Kitching. Uh, yes, isn't that the whole point of the club? Uh, but it's blah not blah blah. Fine. If you prefer to watch for now, blah yeah. blah blah. For example, that's right. maybe. Yeah, I'm yeah, sure. you're saying the I same guess. lines that Leo said and maybe Bryce said. Matter. Yeah. Thanks. It's you not. have no personality of your own. You're just a walking, talking cock to me. You just you spout out the same NPC lines. <laughs> You're making this sound complicated. It's really not. Sorry. <clears throat> You're not alone there. How about blah blah blah. Uh, okay. Get ready. All right. I'm warning you. For the last time, stop calling me that. Huh. Uh, okay. Whew. I still can't get over what happened back there. Being in the splash zone with a handsome guy like Avon? The way the two of us synced up during the scene was something I didn't expect. Things started off a little shaky between us, but I think we've come to an understanding. Once I got past that cold persona, we actually got along well. Ace. Okay. Mm, I guess this is his sort of... Casual outfit? I I don't know. Not really. It's not doesn't really look casual. I don't know. His it can't be a swimming outfit. I mean, the shorts look like swimming shorts, but the top is I don't know. Avon, you startled me. Wait, what are you wearing? So he's had two outfit changes. Oh, this is my casual wear. Is there something wrong? Are you sh That's literally swimming shorts. Tight swimming shorts. I don't know if it's really casual. And also, that top is very... ostentatious. No, no, not, not at all. It's just a bit revealing. I, I, I can kind of see through your shirt. You do realize you've seen way more already, right? The student council president would really wear this, like, clear plastic, uh, top? I don't know. That's a good point. And it does suit you, anyways. It's like, are we are we going to, like, a party? A club or something? Like, what is the outfit choice? Thanks. It's definitely more comfortable. Why weren't you wearing it earlier, though? Well, I'm still on the council. As much as I can, I need to look presentable in front of everyone. People are already skeptical of a sophomore being the president, so I do everything I can to ease those concerns. Wow, that sounds like a lot of responsibility. That's why you dress in that faggy suit? It is, but it comes with the territory of being in such a public position. Uh, not to pry, but 
Wouldn't it be an issue with you being a part of something like the film club then? Not really. I have all that under control. Unless you or Jacques leaks what we're doing, it'll just appear as a harmless club. Okay, so the club is officially exists, but they don't know what you guys are actually doing? Well, then how are you going to sell this? Uh, you don't have to worry about me. Our secret is safe. That's reassuring to hear. Although, it wouldn't really matter in the end. Personally, I wouldn't care too much if people found out. I just don't want to bring trouble to the council or the campus. Uh, I see. It's honestly hard for me to even comprehend stuff like that. I don't really have a reputation to begin with. I'm just a guy who doesn't have many friends and spends most of his time in his room watching porn. No one asks. You don't... You don't have to volunteer all this information. You don't. No one asked. Y you say that a little prouder than you should. I know, it's like a humiliation fetish. Uh, well, it's the only thing I know anything about, so getting to see it in person was such an exciting experience. What is wrong with you, Ace? It felt way more... interactive, I guess? You did seem to really enjoy it. But you did too, right? Obviously. <laughs> that must be why you're in this club then. J just because I have a reputation doesn't mean I don't get urges too, you know. That made it even odder though. Not gonna lie. <clears throat> I, uh, really missed the mark on you when we first met. I had no idea you were this shameless. I, I know, it... It took everything in me not to jump in during filming. Hey, we're not that close yet. Hey, but you was just a second ago you were asking if we were going to do it together today. Uh, I got carried away again. What I mean is I'm excited for our next activity. <laughs> that really isn't any better. Oh, I give up then. Just pour and chill out. We don't need any feelings. Well, I've reached my stop. I still have council duties to attend to, so I'll excuse myself. Oh, of course. Thanks for today, Yvonne. It was nice to meet you. Same to you, Ace. I'm looking forward to our next session, then. Oh, right! See you at Jock's studio! Alright, and that's the end for Yvonne's little segment. So, I said I would do, like, two or three in a video, but, like, this is long. <laughs> I think it's actually gonna be, like, two more videos. I'll just do, like, two in the next video, and then, like, one in the last one. Since I'm pretty sure there's six guys, so we still have three more to go. Yeah, so there's gonna be two more videos. The next one is gonna be similar length, and the one after is gonna be a bit shorter, so. Anyway, um, I'll just save my thoughts for... Uh, this game for the very final video um, So yeah, look forward to the next few uh, Videos on this game. How many times can I say video in 60 seconds? Bye guys